What is love? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Good morning, Big Spring. I'm Lydia. And I'm Dylan. And this is your Channel 3 News. Tristan Cooper, please see Mrs. Stover briefly during flex time today. Color Wars results are in. Freshmen are blue, sophomores have maroon, juniors are gray, seniors are white, and faculty have purple. Stay tuned for more Color Wars info. We raised $50.38 for the Four Diamonds Fund. Sign-ups for the new mock trial team are coming up Monday. Check this out. Attention students, Susquehanna University is offering a week-long summer learning institute. You will get to live on their campus while developing skills in college-level workshops. Workshops offered are Stream Ecology Institute, Leadership Institute for Entrepreneurship, Advanced Writers Workshop, High School Wind Ensemble Institute, and Choral Institute. If interested, stop in the counseling office for more info or go to www.suscu.edu. Submissions are now being accepted for consideration in the 2016 Carlisle Amateur Film Festival. There is a high school age group and the categories are narrative, documentary, and animation. Films cannot exceed 10 minutes and submissions are due January 22nd. See this website for details. And now to Meg with your sports. My mama don't like you and she likes everyone. And I never like to admit that I was wrong And I've been so caught up in my job Didn't see what's going Hello, I'm Meg with your sports. Sports scores. Both wrestling teams lost last night to Northern, but they have the chance to redeem themselves tonight against Boiling Springs. Varsity score was 45-26, to and JV also lost. Tonight in sports, wrestling at Boiling Springs. JV is at 6 and Varsity is at 7. Attention all lifeguards. Mr. Stover is searching for lifeguards to work various hours during the months of January and February. There is a desperate need for a Tuesday morning guard as well as some weekend opportunities. If you have your certification and clearances through the school, then please see Mr. Stover as soon as possible. Reporters Emily and Melanie recently sat down with Mr. Stover after his 400th swimming victory. Hey Big Spring, I'm Melanie. And I'm Emily. And we're here with your channel 3 News. Lately, we talked to Stover about him accomplishing his 400 win. Eli Stover has been coaching the Big Spring swim team for 34 years. This year, he had many goals towards aspiring swimmer. Looking at that improvement, the wins will come along with that. Um, also to get as many of these athletes qualified in postseason competition as we can. Um, to rival our season last year in terms of districts and states. And for them to enjoy the sport and have fun and take it with them when they leave here. It seems like the swimmers on the team are very receptive to Stover's coaching. Um, on me personally, he pushes us all really hard and um, he's really he's really good with the team. He's been around for a while, obviously 400 wins, so he knows what he's doing. Um, coming up through like middle school and even freshman year, he's just sort of motivated me to do the best I could swimming. But athletic goals aren't Stover's only focus. One thing Stover wants for the 2015-2016 team is to create a strong bond. The interaction I have with the athletes, uh, getting to know them uh, you know, a little bit closer than I do with students that I have, uh, seeing them in a different environment, 
um, getting to know a lot about them personally and bonding with them as a, as a whole family uh, because that's one of our all-time goals every year is to mesh as a team and to mesh as a family and you know and keep that relationship with them as they move forward. On Thursday, December 10th, Big Spring girls and boys swim team beat Redland, which led to Stover's 400th win. Redland had made a poster for Stover, and they brought it out to celebrate his accomplishment. That was interesting because their assistant coach used to coach at Cedar Cliff back when the team that I referred to at 85-86 was coach, was uh, very strong, and it was always Cedar Cliff that we battled back and forth for the championship at that time. So she and I go way back in terms of competition, so it was kind of neat. It was extra special to come from them, uh, you know, having been a in a competition with her, you know, many years before. It was really exciting. Um, coach, he was so excited too. And Redland's team made a poster for Coach, and it was really nice. Well, we were all really happy, and it was just a really exciting time. And the other team came over, and we were all just hugging each other and talking, and there was a lot of sportsmanship going on that day. I was really happy for him, and uh, the whole team was just. However, Stover doesn't credit the 400 wins to himself. He attributes his success to his swimmer's hard work. This isn't really about my 400 wins. This is about the program's 400 wins and everything that the, the kids have done along the way to get us where we are today. Whether it's wins for me, whether it's wins for the program, you know, without them and their dedication. And that's what gives me the accomplishment and satisfaction to see those kids improve and, and uh, you know, make great strides, not, even, not just here in high school, but also many of them going on to college and school. Overall, the swimmers are positively affected by Stover's coaching. Well, he's really affected me and all my friends. He brings the whole swim team together as a family, and he really makes us work hard at practice. I mean, he brings out the best in you at practice and the best out of everyone at practice. Um, Stover really cares? Um, I think that just there would be a missing part of the team. It wouldn't be as a complete if he wasn't there. And here's one last message from Stover to the swimmer. Just kudos out there to all the, all the young men and women who have been a part of the program and brought it to where it is today. to Marissa with your weather. Hi, I'm Marissa with your weather. Today it will be very sunny with temperatures reaching the low 40s later this afternoon. Tonight it will remain clear and get down into the 20s. Looking to tomorrow, it will be more cloudy than today and there's a chance of a stray shower. Now back to Dylan and Liddy with your Channel 3 News. The Guidance Office is extending the deadline for accepting VOTEC applications. If you are still interested in applying or need a new application, please stop by the Guidance Office. Final deadline for all, all applications will be Friday, Friday, January 15th. On January 27th at 1.30, Empire Beauty School will be visiting us to speak with any interested individuals about the programs that they offer. If you are interested in gaining more information about Empire Beauty School, please stop by the guidance office to sign up. The Pinnacle Health Ernest R. McDowell Scholarship is available to any senior who is planning on pursuing a major in the health career field. There are several Big Spring students who have received this award in the past. If you are interested in an application, please stop by the counseling office for more information. The United States Naval Academy is offering summer STEM programs. Please visit the counseling office or see your counselor for more information. Because of the power outage yesterday, we've moved Rockstar Wednesday to today. Good morning, Mr. August here with our Rockstar Wednesdays. I want to recognize our students of the quarter for the first quarter. From science, we have Kiara Whistler, Ethan Lee, Emily Baker and Nicholas Boyd, great job. From mathematics, Emily Baker again, she's a two-time uh, honoree. From social, social studies, we have Jesse Laird, M Samantha Meacock, Emily Beam, and Lydianne Edwards, great job. Social studies, my favorite. Tech Ed, we have Jane I, 
Shane Busser, Aaron Swagger, and Colin Hurley. Awesome. From mathematics, Shane Busser comes back and is recognized again. From world language, we have Hannah Martin, Erica Wickline, Casey Barrick, and Olivia Hockenberry. Great job. These kiddos are going to be recognized at the board meeting on uh, January 11th. Um, we have another batch that are going to be recognized at a, a future board meeting. So kudos. Also want to give a shout out to our uh, girls basketball team for beating Carlisle. Um, great game, way to battle back and 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 win. Um, also our uh, boys basketball team um, laying the smack down on Susquehanna. So great effort, great job. Have a have a great day. And finally, you can keep up to date with your high school news by following us on Twitter at BSHSCH3, liking our Facebook page, BSHS Newsroom, and reading the latest articles at BSHSPawPrint.com. Well, I'm Lydia. And I'm Dylan. And this has been your Channel 3 News. Have a great day, Big Spring. See